Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 42 of Photo Critiques. And in Photo Critiques, people send me in some of their best shots and I critique each image with suggestions on how they can improve it. And today, I am pleased to critique the work of Gabrielle Sato. And Gabrielle sent me in a number of really nice shots. And this first one, I really like the um, reeds or I don't know if it's bamboo or whatever going you know, kind of diagonally down through the frame. The bird is off-center to the left and the bird's looking into the larger part of the frame, which is what I recommend you always try to uh, strive for. The only real issue uh, with the shot is it's soft. It's not really tightly focused. Um, we really need especially um, the eyeball of the bird to be in perfect focus. Now, um, Gabrielle used an f-stop of 4.5 which is relatively wide with an ISO of 640. Um, probably the lighting wasn't very great so she did the best with what she could. Looking around the shot a little bit it looks like I can't really find anything that is in perfect focus so it looks like her lens camber combination back focused a bit and that means it focused on just beyond the subject. Um, this is a relatively common thing. Uh, it it is so common that actually uh, camera manufacturers, most of them, I know Nikon and Canon do this, they'll have a function in their menu system where you could adjust the focus for a specific lens and it will remember it. So if you have uh, a 150 millimeter lens that you're putting on your camera all the time and you do this adjustment so that it will compensate for the back focus, it always remembers it so whenever you take that lens off and you don't put it on your camera for like a year and you put it back on it will remember and it will always compensate for the back focus so if Gabrielle is finding this often that her shots are coming off a little soft in the um, it um, tends to be back focusing focusing on something beyond the subject check into those menu functions of your camera see if you could uh, adjust it and um, there's, I, you know, it's beyond the scope of these critiques to tell you exactly how to do it because I only know how to do it actually for a Nikon because I'm a Nikon shooter. So, but I know Canon has uh, the, um, the ability to do this too. So if you're shooting um, Canon, do it. If you're shooting something else, Sony or something else, see if your camera will do it. This next shot too, I love the composition. I just, it's stunning, really. This uh, flower off to the side in the foreground, these ones are perfectly blurred, but still, it's a little soft. We'd really like something to be really sharp in this shot, and we would kind of hope that right here uh, in the middle of this flower was sharp. So from that, per from that point of view, one way to look at it, I would like to see this real sharp right in here. Um, another point of view, maybe uh, this is what Gabrielle was uh, going for, this totally soft look, which is fine too. It's, it's, you, know, uh, you know, it's her art and her vision. But just something to consider, um, you know, you'd really like something, I think, uh, at least something perfectly focused, and I would say right here. This shot too, it's soft. Uh, there's really nothing that is in perfect focus except for maybe right here. So it is possible that her camera grabbed focus right there. Um, you kind of would want this middle part right here in focus. So again, this could have been back focusing where it, it focused beyond where you really wanted it to focus, or it could have been just that's where her camera grabbed focus. N normally I use like um, single point focusing, um, like a single focus point or, you know, on my uh, camera and focus with that one point move it to where I want you know the, the uh, shot to be in perfect focus this shot is excellent and I'll tell you why the um, the, the sky is is very drab it was apparently it was an overcast hazy day um, so Gabrielle made something of it she tilted her camera to get this unusual angle and perspective of this courtyard and then she processed it um, really stripped out the color and it's really a really nice job and that's something you could do if you're you know on vacation somewhere and you've got this you know 
beautiful uh, type of thing to photograph like this old courtyard and the mission bell and the weather is just lousy and the light is bad well try tilting your camera try getting an unusual angle unusual perspective and then when you process it try uh, super saturating the colors try uh, like desaturating the colors make a grungy look or maybe try a total black and white either way uh, you could you know play with it you're uh, this is used to all the tools of the craft and that's what uh, Gabriel did on this shot and I really like it this shot too the sky probably was nothing and so what she did is this uh, red whatever it is floating down here it's called selective color now a lot of the you know top photographers in the world they frown on selective color and I don't I I don't see why we should frown on anything it's it's art is beautiful and and whatever you um, the photographer envisions we should respect that and I really do like this and I think she did a fine job and we have a nice contrast to shades this really charcoaly look and this very bright look and then this splash of color right here very nicely done this shot I like a lot too. The um, idea I mentioned before is you want contrasting textures and we have kind of this hard you know uh, surrounding uh, chairs and the ground and then we have the soft, soft flutter of the birds in the background the soft sea the soft sky very nicely done. I like the light too I like the processing um, I, just a really cool shot. This shot too is I consider it an art shot um, just the you know distorted um, kind of blurred blown out view of the background and the reflection of the light down here in the foreground it's very nicely done there's not much to critique on an art shot I mean it's kinda of, you know the vision of the photographer this shot too I consider an art shot it's it's really cool I just like the way uh, the man's holding his hand out in the front now you wanted to be nitpicky it took me a minute to figure out what this was right here I was looking at that what the heck is that then I realized those are his glasses and they're cut out of the frame often this is not a rule or anything like that but often we don't want the person who's viewing our photographs to think we want them to feel so when you look at some when they look at the photograph they just have these feelings and they don't have to have any thought to think about anything now in this case I had to think what is that what is that so it kind of distracted me from the rest of the shot so you know if Gabrielle took you know a little wider of an angle the hand wouldn't have been as pronounced here either so it's one of those ones where you know it's it is what it is. You um, you either take it or you don't take it. It's a very nice shot, I think. This is a cute shot too. Very cool. Love the smile in the little girl's face. One tenth of a second. Really slow shutter speed. Um, Gabrielle was obviously panning left to right with the uh, movement of the toy car. Um, so it's not because it's one tenth of a second. Even though she's panning perfectly, it's a little soft. But I mean that's to be expected. Um, it's you know very hard hand hold a shot like this and to get it as crisp as she did very nicely blurred background slight vignette helps draw our attention towards the middle of the uh, picture uh, very well done this shot I I really like too this is kinda like selective focus she's focused uh, you know on the little boy um, it's the focus is good enough it's a little grainy uh, ISO 800 the uh, net of the tennis the tennis court net you know is blurry what I don't like about it is this blur right here it almost looks like a finger is in the frame or something like that or there might have been something more in the foreground in front of the net that is uh, like a post or something I don't know but I uh, but that kinda wrecks it for me um, if that wasn't there I think it'd be a really cool shot just the selective focus having the little boy um, so intent on hitting the ball and in really good focus and everything else blurry and it's very well done so that's it I'd like to thank uh, Gabrielle for sharing her images with me uh, remember that look up if you guys aren't um, um, familiar with back focusing if you're finding that your shots are continually soft and it looks like your camera and lens are grabbing focus on something behind the subject that's called back focusing and sometimes that's an issue and um, 
you could um, compensate for it. it usually with most cameras they'll have a setting where you could you know set the focus point at a different spot so your camera and lens will compensate for this back focus issue and you'll get crisper cleaner shots so check into that and again thank you Gabrielle I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos uh, visits my website thank you very much and do me a favor if you guys haven't uh, done it already go to my website see what I have over there everything's free on photography uh, go over to YouTube and subscribe to my um, YouTube videos I'd really appreciate it so I'll talk to you guys soon